Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to add dust particles in Blender. Pretty easy. And let's jump into it. So first thing you want to do is you want to get an object to add dust so we can see it better. So shift A, mesh. Let's get the monkey, Suzanne. And go here to modify them. It's going to make it smooth. So subdivision surface. Modifier. Make it 2. Right click, shade smooth. Okay, then go shift A and get an icosphere. Then go to Z and then go G and just bring it away from our object. Then what you want to do is stick your material with your icosphere selected. Hit new. And then let's go to shading. So boom. And then go shift A, get a mix shader. So over there, boom. Put that in between the BSDF and the material output. What you can also do is go here to normal view, tick here and disable that. And what you want to do is tick here, go shift A, get a transparent BSDF. Boom, plug it in there. And then you can see when I go here, it doesn't connect. So what you need to do is disconnect here, put that there, plug it into the color. You can see same thing. So what you want to do is plug this PSDF into there. You want to bring it down. You want to plug it in to the second shader. Then go shift and get a translucent. PSDF, plug this into the shader there. And then you can see what we're getting here. So you can see you can bring it back to down, which will make it quite blurry and like that. So you can play with it until you find something that you like change the color a little bit so just something like that and then a scale it down and then you want to go back to layouts go shift a get a cube and then let's go here and then just want to cover our object and with the cube selected you want to go to particles so boom hit new change the number to about 250 Change the frame end to one as well. A lifetime. We'll make it a thousand. Then go down to source and emit from volume. So click there. Emit from volume. And then velocity. Normal. Change this to zero. Then go down to forces. So click down physics. Brownian makes us eight. A damp 0 0.1 then go down to render and render as object and then select object and select the icosphere and then if you go here you can see what we've got okay we've got those nice dust particles and then you can change your scale so you can bring this down you don't want it to be too big so something like that 0.02 is good and you want to bring your scale randomness all the way up then go down to field weights and bring the gravity all the way down then it's got up to cache click there and then what you want to do is hit bake and then bring your timeline up so boom bring this like this and then you push play and you can see how nice that's looking you can see it playing around if I zoom in, you can see it moving around like dust. And then last thing you want to do is you can go here and we can bring this down and then go back to solid mode and click on your cube, go to shading, hit new and then go shift A and get a transparent, BSDF, put that there, so like this, unplug this, this here, put this there. And then plug it in to the surface. And now if I zoom in and I push play. You can see this. I've got a layout. Go here. You can see the cube is. And there we go. So hopefully you learned something. Hopefully the video helped you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out Blender Kit. Check out the Patreon. And yeah, like I said, this is basic tutorial. But hopefully it taught you something. You can create some awesome things using this technique. And yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, like I said, 
subscribe and i'll see you next video peace